take one. Why I cannot be insane. Um, this is a wake up call. And basically you need to understand that there is a two felonies by the United States government, California penal system. Um, I am declared paranoid schizophrenic because I believe there are hidden stories in newspapers. Well, first issue. In 1973, I started working in a high school print shop. In 1974, I declared myself a publisher. So since 1974, folks, front page story versus bury that damn thing, I don't want to see that story up front, has been a daily part of my life. 42 years, I'm still publishing. This video is a matter of that simple fact. I'm publishing a video. I'm a publisher. I'm an artist. So I very well understand that when your politician gets a drunk driving ticket, you're going to bury the story. If you don't understand it, right now, 2016, there is a go for Bernie presidential thing going on that social media is playing up pretty high that everybody loves them. And NBC, ABC, CBS is telling you the guy is losing. Therefore, somebody's burying a story and somebody's shoving it to the front page. Now, I know there's enough false stuff because I saw a Bernie supporters in front of the Arch de Triomphe in Paris. Um, sorry, folks, there aren't Bernie supporters in Paris. All right. And I'm smart enough to know what the difference is of a photograph. Um, but that's simply publishing. That is what goes on. If you're an advertiser, you put this product forward. If you're a supermarket, you put the product forward that you want to sell, and you put the stuff that you're not really interested in the backs, in the places that don't have a lot of traffic. That's called burying it, folks. So this is a very simple statement in any part of the publishing industry. Whether you are publishing news, you are publishing a video, you are publishing a newspaper, publishing a magazine, publishing books, publishing advertisement about a product, or you are in the process of putting out and producing a product and publishing information about your product you will find that it is either buried or put up front, depending on the likes and dislikes of individual publishers. So no, I am not insane for a common everyday terminology anywhere on this fucking planet. Wake up, folks. That doctor was not a doctor. I was diagnosed by judges. Judges by the way, if you check, you will see that they put their charges, Garrett Only and Stanley Young, put felony charges threatening a judge because I told them I would put them in jail. No other threat. And there never has been. In 2003, that was in 2005 that they put their charges. In 2003, I contacted the United States Supreme Court and filed child abuse charges on one judge Garrett only and one judge retired Stanley Young who was sitting in to finish the case of child custody in which my ex-wife wanted to take the child and leave the state and hide him. I think about that folks. The judges that committed felony child abuse I tried to file charges on in 2003 by the judges that filed charges on me. The United States won't let me press charges against them because I have valid evidence and I now have a broken arm. In 2004, when I entered the court to try and present those charges, 
as I was required to do by the United States Supreme Court, who refused federal law 48 hours relief from child abuse or domestic violence of anyone who is capable of understanding the word child abuse or domestic violence in America. Federal law. The U.S. Supreme Court turned me down, told me to go back to the criminal court and get its permission to go forward. As you can see, its permission was a broken arm. Doesn't work very well, folks. This is torture. 12 years ago, 2004, this is 2016. So no, I'm not insane. You folks need to wake up and realize that. Um, Oh, by the way, because no doctor has ever talked to me, keep in mind, if you have a doctor who makes a diagnosis without talking to a patient, he is not diagnosing the patient, he is attacking you for your prejudices. Again, that is called torture. Have a good day. Wake up call.